Hi, and welcome to the Edis Research booth at SDR Forum. I'm going to take you on a very brief tour of some of the demos we have here today. The first one is our LTE running on a USRP. This is a complete software eNode B developed by Fabrice Billard of Amari Soft, running on a PC under the desk. This USRP is acting as the LTE base station, and we have a consumer Vodafone LTE modem plugged into this laptop. So the demo comprises of capturing video on this webcam, which is connected to the client laptop. We've got VLC converting that stream into a network stream, which is then being sent from the consumer modem to the Enovi base station and then being displayed on the PC. In the background, you can see we have the signal reports coming from the Enode B software, and the CPU consumption for the Enode B is significantly less than one CPU core. Here we have a demonstration of Precog, which is John Malsbury's MacLayer work in GNU Radio Companion. This is a very quick way of prototyping applications and a way of separating the Mac and Fi layers within GNU Radio instead of operating at the sample streams level in GNU Radio. All these blocks communicate by sending messages in between one another. So the radio top block encapsulates the hardware at the fire level and actually does the modulation and demodulation and packetization. The simple Mac is the Mac control here. This one does ARQ, but there's another one, for example, that does frequency hopping. And the application itself here is defined as creating two TCP connections. And we have netcat in these two terminals connected to each one so that if you send a message, like test, it will packetize that, modulate that, send it from one radio to the other one over the air, and have it received by the same application running on the other radio, and it will demodulate and display that packet. There's also other channels that are being sent, other channels of data. For example, this one is a sine wave which is being encoded by the Codec 2 audio encoder and also being sent through the communications channel simultaneously. The third demo here is a direction finding demo running on the quad radio. This is Edis Research's four channel coherent receiver. Once again, GNU radio has been used to create a simple DOA direction-finding receiver. We've got the spectrum on the left as well as a compass that will show the direction of the transmission. And we simulate that using this handy talkie. If I key down, you can see on the compass the direction in which the wavefront is coming from the radio as I move about. And then when I come back around the other side, you can see the compass indicate that position. When I key down, it disappears. And this is a demonstration of a super resolution direction planning technique known as music or multiple signal classification. This is represented in the flow graph as this R music DOA estimator. And we've also demonstrated that it can work using the Esprit DOA estimator. And these blocks can be found in modified form originating from the GR spectral estimation or GR specest library. So thanks for virtually visiting our booth. See you next time.